places you can go. Uh, according to the CDC, one in 59 children have an autism spectrum disorder. April, Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. And April's coming, into a, con, coming to an end soon, so we need to talk about this. A big event this weekend promoting both. NBC7's Audra Stafford joining us from downtown with the details. Audra, good morning. Good morning. Oh, this is going to be such a cool event. It's called Lights, Camera, autism and it's going to be taking place right here in this beautiful brand new facility downtown called uc san diego park and market uh, it's a very mixed use space we'll be showing it to you throughout the morning it's got a lot of really cool features here and it's perfect for this event because it's going to be a showcase of all kinds of artistic talents and all of the artists are on the autism spectrum so pretty cool and they include this young man take a look his name is max park and he is what they call a speed cuber he can really flip those rubik's cubes around one of the best in the world and he is the focus of the netflix documentary the speed cubers he will be here tomorrow night they'll also be screening the movie as part of the event the group Exceptional Minds will also be part of this event. They have worked with Sesame Street on the Julia storylines. They've also hired individuals who are on the spectrum. So there's a lot here at this event, a lot of chances for artists to showcase and even sell some of their work. Again, it's all happening tomorrow night right here at this building, UC San Diego Park and Market. It is also a fundraiser for the Autism Society of San Diego. All of that money is going to go back to help families right here in san diego so stick around because throughout the morning we'll be meeting some of the artists we'll be talking about how that money will benefit families here it's going to be a great morning uh, and a great way to celebrate autism acceptance and awareness month live downtown i'm audra stafford nbc7 audra thanks we want you to uh stick around well, according to the cdc one in 59 children have an autism spectrum disorder april is winding up, but it is Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. And a big event to talk about this weekend aims to promote both. NBC7's Audra Stafford joining us from downtown with all the details. Good morning, Audra. Good morning. Yes, I am here at UC San Diego Park and Market. It's a brand new facility here downtown, and they're hosting a big event tomorrow night to raise money for Autism Society San Diego. It's called Lights, Camera, Autism. It's going to be showcasing all kinds of art from artists who are on the spectrum. Pretty cool. I want to bring in uh, Alyssa with the Autism Society San Diego. This sounds like such a great event. I know it's something you've done before and it's back this year after being put on pause, of course, because of the pandemic. Yes, we've. Um, this is actually the fourth time that we've done this, um, but it's fallen on a two year pause. So we're really excited because this is a wonderful event where we're able to showcase um, artists of all different fine arts and um, music and different talents. Yeah, you have quite a lineup for tomorrow night's event and this is not something that that is only open to people or families with someone on the spectrum but this is open to everyone right absolutely anyone that loves art and wants to come out and support the community everybody is welcome awesome I, this is such a great opportunity too for for these artists to get to get their work out there absolutely um, especially over the last two years it hasn't been many opportunities for artists to showcase their art and this is a wonderful opportunity for them and we have you know so many different kinds of artists um, between woodworking and painting and uh, weaving and just so many different things that um, people are really excited to show yeah we're looking at a little bit of artwork here now pretty pretty cool stuff here and we actually have the artist here with us this is Caitlin Caitlin tell us a little bit about your artwork uh, this is basically abstract art. For me, it's it's a way I express myself when words cannot express how I'm feeling. And these are two of my main art pieces that I've done so far on based on events in my life. How exciting is it for you to get to come here and to show off your art and hopefully sell some of it too? Very exciting because I've been doing art for as long as I can remember and I've recently started doing more abstract art as time went on and that when I did a final for my painting two class and it was an abstract piece because I wanted to do a Jackson Pollock kind of painting uh -huh. and so I did a I did a final piece that was a Jackson Pollock kind of painting. Oh, really cool. Well, these are just beautiful, and we'll be excited to see even more of your work tomorrow night. Again, this is all happening tomorrow, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. here at UC San Diego 
park and market tickets are $75, but it all goes to a great cause. We'll talk more about how that money will be used to benefit families here in San Diego coming up in our next half hour. I'll send it back to you. Thanks, right. Audra. Like it. Right. Yeah, we appreciate him waking up early to share it with us. Good morning, Brooke. All right, Ashley, thank you. Dozens of artists coming together this weekend for a very special showcase, but their creativity, it's not the only thing they have in common. Audra Stafford is live for us this morning to explain what's going on, Audra. Well, what's going on is a big event tomorrow night called Lights, Camera, Autism. It is a showcase of artists who are on the autism spectrum. A lot of amazing talents, including the incredible artist behind all of these beautiful pens and keychains. We're going to meet him coming up next and talk about how this event will really help benefit families here in San Diego. So there we go. All right. According to the CDC, one in 59 children have an autism spectrum disorder. April, we know it's almost over, but we can't forget it's autism awareness and acceptance month. And you know, there's a big event this weekend that we have a preview for you right now. NBC7's Audra Stafford is downtown. Audra with all the details. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, April is almost over, so they're going to go out with a bang with this big event happening here tomorrow night called Lights camera autism and this is really shining the spotlight on artists who are on the spectrum i want to just give you a sneak peek at what's on this table here in front of me take a look look at this beautiful artwork here we're going to talk to the artist behind this in just a moment but first i want to bring in Alyssa label with autism society san diego because that's who this event is going to benefit so exciting and you have so much that's going to be happening. This whole room is actually going to be filled with artwork tomorrow. Absolutely. We're going to have 23 artists in this room um, with just different art. We have the uh, war art, wood artisans, um, we have painting, we have ceramics, we have sewing. Uh, we're also having some musical guests and we have um, uh, Bruce Cop's team will be playing the piano. He's from Autism's Got Talent. And Terrence and the Jazz Ensemble will also be playing. Um, so I know tonight. you have members of mainly Mozart that will yes. be here as well. It's going to really be quite a spectacular show. And it all, of course, raises money for such a great cause. You, you have so many programs for families here in San Diego. We do. Lots of social programs and support programs for families. Wonderful. Well, we want to meet the artist behind this beautiful artwork that I just showed you. This is Polly. Come on in and chat with us a little bit. Uh, tell me, you've been doing this since you were 13 years old. Uh, what is it that you enjoy about making all of this, these pens? Well, it's a, it's a lot of hard work. It's really important to me, and I enjoy it a lot. So people will see what exactly what I'm doing, and then people appreciate me. Now, when I see this, I think, oh my gosh, how is it possible to do this? You said, oh, it's so easy. It only takes a couple of hours, but you have been doing this for such a long time. Are you excited to be here tomorrow night? Yes, I am. Yeah, well, we're excited for you and to, to be able to show off all of your beautiful work here. Again, this is all happening tomorrow night here from 4 to 9 p.m. at UC San Diego Park and Market, brand new building downtown. Tickets are $75. Again, goes to a great cause, Autism Society, San Diego.org. We'll get that info on our website as well. I'll send it back to you. What a talent. Thanks. I know. That's just unbelievable. And what nice weather we saw out of those windows. That's a new venue. I didn't know about it. Yeah, good morning, Brooke. Gene Wilder, just one in a million. A big event is happening tomorrow night downtown that'll shine a spotlight on autistic artists. NBC 7's Audra Stafford joining us live right now with more on what's called lights, camera, and autism. Hey, Audra, what a great job you've been doing all morning long about this event. Oh, thank you. Well, I've, it's been really easy because I've had a lot of really talented people here to help me out and lots of beautiful things to show. We've got some of the artwork here that will be here, not just on display tomorrow night, but actually up for sale as well because this really does support people on the spectrum here in San Diego. I want to introduce Alyssa with the Autism Society of San Diego. Such a great event and what's really cool about this is that it really shines a spotlight not just on autistic artists but adults 
Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of programming out there for um, individuals on the spectrum who are children, but you know, people are adults a lot longer than their children. So we, it's really important for us to have these events where they can socialize together and hang out and build and network and meet more people in the community as adults. Yeah, and I remember you were saying, uh, we were talking off camera a little bit, that you have people who have met at past events and they come back and, and they really have formed a support group just around this event alone. They do, and they support each other in their own art form and they're able to come together. They're asking to be tabled together so that they can hang out and make this just a really fun event. So we hope people will come out and uh, tickets are still available. So please come by Autism Society San Diego.com or .org, I should say, and purchase your ticket to come and see this wonderful event. Yeah, it really is a wonderful event. And again, it supports the artists. It supports their families as well. That's a huge piece of this. I want to introduce Anne-Marie. You have two children who, two yes. adult children yes. on the spectrum. How important is it to have support like this? It's huge because when you're a parent with children on the spectrum, it's isolating. And so to have a community is all you can ask for. Because everybody has gone down the same road, it might look a little bit different, but it's the same. Right, and it's called a spectrum disorder because you were telling me no two cases are right. exactly the same. When you've met one child or adult with autism, you met one child or adult with autism. They, they're as affected of that. speech, you know, a physical, but they're all great kids. Yeah, great kids, talented people. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, this is your daughter's yes. artwork right here. And again, you can see all of this tomorrow night. They have a whole action-packed night of things going on here again to raise money for Autism Society of San Diego. Tickets are $75 right now. You can get them online 4 to 9 p.m. here at UC San Diego Park and Market downtown. I'll send it back to you. Audra, thank you.